Down a little bit. Did it bother you when they announced Canelo that he, right. that he slipped and called him undisputed champion already? Like Saturday's fight hadn't happened. Say what? When Jimmy announced Canelo, did you catch that they they announced him as undisputed champion? No, I wasn't paying attention. Was, was, was it bother you the fact that the, despite your accomplishments, your record, and everything, people just act like you just here to show up for a payday? Regardless no, I think a lot of you know that uh, what I'm here to do. So I've said it many times before. I'm not going to keep repeating it. Um, you know what I'm here for. Hey, listen, Caleb, you, you know, are you 100% confident that your eyes heal because you're fighting a guy that packs a lot of power? Do you have any concerns that it may reopen during the fight? I mean, I haven't put much thought into it. It's under my eye regardless, so not much to worry about. How big a deal is the big campaign when he takes off rounds? Because you, know, you, you don't get, get tired. You, we know for your endurance, the fact that he's known for taking off rounds before he sets up a big round, like he took off that seventh round before he got rid of uh, Billy Joe. Yeah. How are you going to make him pay for that when he takes off those rounds? Tune in November 6th. Hey, Katie, Katie, Katie. 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 There's been a lot of talk about the Saunders and Lara's fights, but do you feel you have some of the things in your skill set you can reproduce that Floyd did to actually beat him? Um, you know, I possess a lot of the same skills and uh, attributes that those guys did. They gave him a lot of trouble, but I'm a full-fledged super middleweight, you know. Um, even things like Amir Khan, you know, I possess a lot of those same skills and speed. And, but again, I'm six one and a half and a full-fledged super middleweight. So um, I've been fighting this way for a long time. I won the Golden Glove Nationals at 178 pounds. And so, um, you know, since those, since those fights that he's had trouble with, who has he fought to prove that he no longer has trouble with that. Did you have a chance to talk with Floyd about the fight? Did he, you know, uh, We exchanged support? a couple words, not too much, just a word or two. And you know, Canelo, with, you know, practicing on the golf swing and whatnot, do you feel you're the hungrier fighter for this opportunity? That'll make a difference on Saturday night? I know I'm the hungrier fighter. Hey, 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 hey people, people are questioning why uh, Canelo pulled out of the uh, fight back in September for Mexican Independence Day. Did you have, think it have anything to do with drug testing or anything like that? I'm not sure. We were six and a half weeks away, and we still hadn't started drug testing. So, I mean, that's all I can say. Kayla, how do you relax during a fight? Obviously, this is a big fight. It's nothing new to you, but you, you always turn, you stay focused, you stay in, in shape. But how do you kind of relax, take your mind off of things? You can't. I'm assuming you're not doing the cooking right now. But how did you? How do you relax? I mean, this is what I do. So, you know, I might be wired differently than the guys that are on the other side of the camera. So. I'm relaxed, I'm calm. I've been doing this for a long time, my whole life. You know, I started this when I was nine years old. I've been, you know, headlining Fox shows that have, you know, prepared me for this moment. It's no different than any of the Fox shows that I headline. Doing Grand Arrivals, doing press tour, um, press conference, big weigh-ins, whatever it may be. So, I mean, it's no different than any of that. The way you envision this fight, do you do you pick yourself, obviously you're, you're confident you're gonna win the fight, but do you want to get rid of it early? Get rid, get uh, done with this early, or you want to go the distance? You want to? Which, which I'm gonna get my hand raised by any means necessary. So whatever that calls for, that's what we do. All right, thank you. Hey, well, good to see you. First you off, up your hair again? no, please don't mess it up. I spent a lot of time doing it. Um, how's this whole experience been like for you, Caleb? <laughs> it's been good. It's been good. Um, relaxed, calm, confident, and uh, just ready for the battle ring come Saturday. Looking at the fights you've had in your career, have you ever wanted to win more than this one? I want to win all my fights because if I don't win those fights, then I, I don't sit in this position. So every fight is do or die for me. Every fight is, um, you know, I put everything into it. Less my tears. Every camp, I don't treat, I don't train for less for this guy or more for that guy. You know, that's how you end up getting your spot taken. That's how you end up not making weight. That's how you end up, you know, looking at other people in the positions that they're in. So, um, but with everything on, on the line, I mean, I want to so bad. I, can't make this fight. I know your IBF fight meant a lot to you because of the promise that you made and, and I was thinking you know how does that fight compare to this one I know you you mentioned a little bit but does it add a little extra layer this fight compared to that one um in some in some ways yes in some ways yes just with everything that's on the line and um everything at stake I mean I'm ready. can you say a quick word about having your dad in your in your corner with you he's been with you in, in nearly every fight will you talk about the relationship that you guys have and and how you see that growing he's all right <laughs> this, this is my little dude right here. This is my little guy right here. No, um, so blessed and happy to have my dad, you know, along with me on this journey. We we started a long time ago, and uh, when we first started, it was just me and him. And um, I mean, we we've been through a lot together. And we put in a lot of work together, and I wouldn't be here without my father. Um, you know, my grandfather as well, having those two strong, you know, male figures in my life to point me in the right direction and lead me the right way. I mean. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Did y'all vision being on the stage like years ago? Absolutely. 
did, Absolutely. Did this envision make your success even more rewarding? Say again? Did this make your success even more rewarding? Absolutely. Having my friends with me, having my, my same friends, my same family that uh, I had from the get-go, my same team from the get-go. I haven't switched teams. And, um, you know, I think that says a lot about loyalty and, and um, you know, having a team mindset, attitude, and um, ready for November 6th. Thanks, Caleb. 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 We're going this way. We're going this way. You guys want some? Um, yeah. Yesterday at the Grand Arrivals. That's considering we've been there. You know, how does that make you feel when you hear that? Those are just words. He's supposed to say that. So, you know, again, he's just, he's supposed to say that. And um, I take it with a grain of salt because I've been told that many times in my life, well, I'm going to stop him. And he knocked him out. You know, how many times in his career has he fought a fighter like me? He fought Floyd, he fought Laura, Triple G had a good jab. And um, who has he fought since then? That, you know, he hasn't had trouble against. You know how many fighters I've been fighting like him who come forward, try to walk me down, try to go to the body, try to knock me out. Anyone I've ever fought throughout my amateur and pro career. I mean, over 117 amateur fights. Everyone has the same style when they fight and they want to walk me down and beat me up. So it is. There's a lot of sacrifices that obviously go into what you do. Uh, one of being that you missed your two year anniversary with Jordan. They're not missed necessarily. I know he's, it's going to be something you guys are eventually going to do. But, you know, when you hold your hand up on the night, what do you plan to do to celebrate with her? Um, I don't know. I haven't thought about celebrating. I haven't thought about. You know what I'm doing after I'm fully focused on the task at hand, and uh, you know I'll get to that stuff you know, after this. So I found out you brought him down to George Street. I already knew. I got in your iPod and I found out that that's what you're gonna be walking down. To. Um, question for you: When you're up there and you're hearing like all the accolades that they're saying about Canelo, you got the Showtime from It's already feeling like it's a one-sided fight. What's going through your mind when you're hearing all of that? It just excites me for what they're gonna say about me after. You know, um, he's earned those. That recognition, he's earned those accomplishments. And um, so I'm just excited to see what they have to say about me. Who do you listen to more in your corner? You listen to your pops, your trainer, or your Jordan? Say again? Who do you listen to more in your corner? Your pops, your trainer, or Jordan? Um, I listen to my dad and Justin. <laughs> you know, they, they they both have good things to say in the corner. And um, then me and JP will link after and we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb. What, what do you think for Canelo? What do you think for Canelo? Say again? What do you think for Canelo? I think you asked me that the other day. I didn't ask that the same answer. Did Andre tell you there's parallels between this fight and this fight that he had with Kovalev? Like, did that conversation kind of go into how he approached that fight? Say it, say it. Did, when you had your time with Andre Ward, did some of the conversations that he mentioned, you know, this fight with Kovalev and how he stepped to Kovalev out of the community, is there a parallel in that fight with this fight that he brought up to you? Um, well, we, we had some conversations, and I'll keep those between me and him. He's been a, uh, you know, almost somewhat of a mentor for me. So he's always able to, um, there, you know, if I need to call, he's calling and checking in on me. He's called me last week a couple times. And, um, so I really appreciate Dre and um, all he's done for me and my wife. And, uh, before the chat with you don't want to go. Caleb, you all recognize the similarities Caleb's between the right, upbringing <laughs> between you and Canelo. So much has been made about where you come from and how hard it was coming up. If you weren't fighting, you think you guys might appreciate where each other are coming from and how hard you fought to get here? Maybe so, but it's not the world we live in. <laughs> what is it about Canelo Alvarez that you feel is the greatest challenge for you on Saturday night? Um, this is experience level, but again, you know, experience is only one factor to win in a fight, and there's many factors to win in a fight, and experience is just one of them. And, um, you know, there's been plenty of fights where the guy with less fights. Uh, you came to fight when you're 5 0 on my cards in Chester, PA, of all places. I'm sure you remember those. If I would have said to you back then, you're 5 0, and you're fighting this mega fight, all the bells and whistles would go along with it. Back then, what would you have said? I would have said, I know. I would have told you, I, I knew that before you knew that. So I always, you know, envision myself being in this position. I always envision myself being in a mega fight, fighting for all the belts, you know, all the belts and whistles, like you said, that come along with it. And um, I always imagined this since I was a kid. And, you know, it's a reality now. And now it's just um, the most important part is left, and that's for me to go out there and, and do what I do best. Are you enjoying everything that's going on this week with all this stuff? Yeah, yeah, I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm relaxed, having fun. So. Ready to roll. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Argentina TV. 
eh, nosotros, nosotros lo sentimos, lo escuchamos tan seguro en usted mismo que nos convence previo a la pelea sin conocerlo. ¿Qué puedo decir en eso? Que usted está convencido de que usted es un ganador de la pelea. ¿Qué puedo decir sobre eso? 